Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Surge XT, and today we're making a patch I made called Night of the Living Dummy, which sounds something like this. We yeah, got kind of weird, kind of cool sounding on the upper frequencies. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's go to a fresh instance of Surge, right click, initialize patch. And we're gonna be using two oscillators, so let's concentrate on the first one. So the first one's gonna be this wavetable, this sus bassoon. So <laughs> let's go from classic down to wavetable. And then this one is gonna be located on the EMU, VSCO, woodwinds, and then sus bassoon right over here. Now this looks a little bit different than because we're changing the position of the morph at about 4.11, so let's go over here and go to 4.11. We can right click, we can even add the value 4.11, which is a little bit easier that way. So we have something like that, and then we can drop this down by one octave. Okay, so now we're pretty close to what we wanna do, but we have to do a couple modulation here. So this one over here on the patch is called SENV1, which we change this to an envelope and we have the morph, saturate, and formant modulated. If we right click this, we can see morph, saturation, and the formant, and we all have these different values. So what we need to do is take a look at this here. So we change this to an envelope and we have some settings down over here. So if we go to this first one here, we can go down to the envelope and then basically start copying these settings here. So the release is gonna be all the way to the top at forever. Sustain is going to be 16.41, so we can even just edit that, 16.41. 16 Boom for that, and then this one for the decay is going to be 0.144, so we can right click that, edit value, 0.144. And then what else do we have? We don't have any hold, and then we don't have any delay, so we're just actually using the attack, and that's at 0 0.050, so we can just right click, at a value, 0 0.050. Boom, so we have our Make our envelope done. So now we need to modulate a couple things. So we're doing the, the morph, the saturate, and the formant. So if you don't know, we just had to click this and then our buttons turn a different color. So in this case, green. And now we're gonna be modulating some stuff. So we have the morph. So what we can do is just drag this here a little bit like that. We have the saturate. We can drag this a little bit like that. And then the formant and drag the formant, something like that. And then what we can do, we can right click and just change these values for what they are over here. So we know that the morph is 26.79. So this is kind of nice doing that. Right click here, right click here, and then 26.49. Boom, that's done there. And then what are the next ones? Or 26.79, that's fine. 43.04 for the next one, 43.04, 43.04. Got that one in here. And then the last one is going to be 18 semitones for the formant. So we can go right click here and on the formant, we can right click and put 18. And there we go, that's pretty much what we're doing. And there we go. We also have a little bit of portamento here. So in this case, we have 0 0.072. So we can right click this here and 0 0.072. And we have a portamento. Kind of a fun one there. So that's basically this one here. We have a little bit of unison here, which is three voices. I don't think we change anything else about that. The next thing that we did here on SF LFO2, so if you right click this here, we're changing the oscillator one pitch by just a little bit by 0.27. So let's go ahead and add that. So we have the second LFO and then the pitch. Let's just kind of bring this here a little bit. Let's actually double click this here back to its default. Click this one here and then kind of move it a little bit and that's fine. And then we can right click and then edit things 0.27. So a very, very tiny amount. Even if you look here, it's just a very, very small amount. Now we have to change the rates because we're kind of getting that vibrato sound. So we hear it here, but it's kind of slow. So our rate on this one is going to be 6.698. So 6.698, 6.698, kaboom. And now these LFOs are gonna look pretty much identical because they are. So in this case, let's turn off our effects here. So let's go to all. 
So we're pretty close now. Let's take a look at our filters here. So we're using this L <laughs> LP low pass 24 on the third revision. So let's go ahead and change that. So if you go here to the low pass 24, and then we can change this twice to the third revision. And then our settings here, the cutoff is going to be at about 164. So let's go ahead and add that 164. And then our resonance is going to be 53.57. So right click and edit value 53.47. And we're going to have some modulation here. So this is pretty much going all the way to the top, I believe 96. So let's bring this all the way up here to 96. <laughs> So now for our filter here, I believe we didn't change too much for that zero. Yeah, that looks pretty much the same. Okay, we got that done. Now we're doing this interesting wave shaping here. So we're doing the harm two, so harmonic, soft harmonic two. So let's go ahead and add that in this here. So harmonic, harmonic, soft two. And then what value exactly are we doing here? And that's going to be 8.6 dB. So let's do that 8.06. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna concentrate on is the second oscillator here. So number two, which is basically going to be this classic. So let's go ahead and add that. So the second oscillator and let's unmute that. And then this is going to be about negative 7.59. So negative 7.59. So we're pretty much at the same spot here. Okay, so one thing that we can do next here is start adding our effects. So if we enable these all the way back to on, and let's go check these out here. Or turn the effects bypass back to off. So we basically have an EQ, a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. So nothing too crazy. So what we can go here and then we can add an EQ. So the first EQ, let's go to init and kind of just change the stuff that we don't really want or stuff that we do like. Nice. Okay, so next up, we're gonna add a little bit of chorus. And for this one, I did like the analog one, so the analog warmth, and then bring down the mix a little bit more like this. which makes we had in their first one here. So we had about 27.6. So we can go bring it down to about 27-ish. We're gonna gain down just a bit. And there's some delays, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and add the delay. And those are kind of interesting because we have so many different options here. So what I'll probably just do is one of my favorites is the basic one eight, and then putting one of the right or the left side to a eighth dotted note or something like that. It's kind of interesting. Where are you? There you are. And remember, bring our mix down as well. Kind of nice for a Halloween vibe. So here we can always use some reverb. We can use some external reverb. That's totally up to you. But let's check out the reverb and let's see what we can do. So maybe under the reverb two or the spring. You know what? Maybe we can do a hall reverb or something like that. So the first reverb, this freaking menu, man. So this first one, it's full mix. We don't need that. So on our delays, let's go ahead and do some things here. We gotta get some low cut in there. We don't want that too much. A little bit less on our high cut. And same for the reverb, maybe the uh, high cut. No, that might be kind of fine. The low cut, a little bit more than 80. Or high frequency dampening. And then the size, it really depends on how big of a room you want. The decay, almost three seconds, that's kind of a lot. We can bring this down just a bit here. 
Uh, let's see what our pre-delay is at. Let's see, once we go here, it is 0 0.023. Uh, maybe we can bring that down just a little bit, something like that. <laughs> I, you know, I kind of would like a little bit of release on the amp envelope. Maybe on both of these. So that's basically how you make this one. This one's kind of cool. It's perfect for Halloween. Got all that interesting vibe. But yeah, if you want to get a copy of The Night of the Living Dummy or The Night of the Dead, whatever it is. Oh my God, I'm horrible with names. There's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.